Welcome to the 5 Minute English Vocabulary Podcast. My name is Herbert Lee and I'll be your host. Now you can easily improve your vocabulary without memorizing long lists of boring words and still develop a powerful command of English. You'll learn the origin of words or etymology, told as easy to remember stories. You'll also hear some jokes and learn some idioms as well. Episode 24 Latin Words in English, Part 3. Welcome to Latin Words and Phrases, Part 3. You're going to learn a lot of new phrases and words today that come from Latin, even words that are not so obvious. Oh, you're going to be learning about obvious today. So let's get started. Impromptu. I M P R O M P T U. Impromptu means in readiness or ready. English actually borrowed the word impromptu from the French. However, the French got it from the Latin words in promptu, which means in readiness. Here's an example. We had a big problem with a client today, so we had an impromptu meeting to figure out what we should do. Mundane. M-U-N-D-A-N-E. It means dull or ordinary. Its Latin roots. Mundane is derived from the Latin word mundus, meaning world. This translates to of the world, as it is not heavenly. Here's a sentence. After being on vacation in Hawaii for two weeks, it'll be hard to go back to our mundane lives. Magnum opus. M A G N U M. O P U S. Literally means great work. The most important or significant production of one's career. Although it usually refers to a written work, it isn't necessarily restricted to that. I consider Samuel Johnson's A Dictionary of the English Language to be his magnum opus one for which he's still justly celebrated. Mea culpa. M-E-A-C-U-L-P-A. I am to blame. It's my fault. In common English, my bad. Since I was responsible for the accounting error that inadvertently caused the bank to pay $1.8 million into my personal bank account, I suppose some sort of mea culpa is in order. Not that I'm admitting any legal accountability, mind you. Modus operandi. M-O-D-U-S. O-P-E-R-A-N-D-I can also be abbreviated to M.O. Method of operation. Characteristic mode of proceeding with something. You see this on crime movies and TV shows when they're talking about the M.O. of how the person is killed or died. Richard Nixon's modus operandi is almost any situation was to lie, then cover up the lie, and then to cover up the cover-up. Note bene. N-O-T-A. B-E-N-E. This is often abbreviated as N-B. It means note well or pay attention. I'm going to give you a piece of very good advice. Note bene. When someone asks you to give an opinion on a book they've written, Run. Run far. Obvious. O-B-V-I-O-U-S. It means clear, easily noticed or understood. Its Latin roots, obvious, as we use it in English, is derived from the Latin obvious, which itself comes from ovium, which means in the way. 
Here's an example. It's obvious that you like him. You won't stop talking about him. Per annum. P-E-R-A-N-N-U-M. Per year. Usually in reference to a sum of money to be paid or received once a year. So we usually talk about someone's salary per annum. How much they are paid every year. Per capita. P E R C A P I T A. Literally for each head or for each person. So usually we talk about a uh, country's GDP, gross domestic product, in terms of per capita. Per diem, P-E-R-D-I-E-M. It means an allowance given every day. The Latin roots for per diem is a combination of two Latin words, per, which means through, during, or by means of, and diem, which means day. Here it is in a sentence. When I go on business trips, my company gives me a per diem of $100 for my meals. Per se, P-E-R-S-E. It means by himself, herself, or itself, essentially. The Latin roots of this expression are taken from the Latin per se, meaning by itself, it itself, or of itself. Here it is in a sentence. Potato chips aren't bad for you, per se. It's when you eat too many of them that they become unhealthy. Persona non grata. P-E-R-S-O-N-A. N-O-N. G-R-A-T-A. An unwelcome person. Someone not legally recognized. Ever since that unfortunate incident involving the flight attendant, the poodle, and the cheese whiz, most airlines have declared me persona non grata. And that brings us to the end of Latin Words and Phrases, Part 3. Be sure to listen to Part 4 next week. We're going to be covering some confusing Latin words and phrases, i.e., re and E-G. So, until next week, it's Herbert Lee saying bye for now.